My friends in recovery, you are alive for a reason, and today is a gift. You have another 24 hours, but remember, none of us are guaranteed tomorrow. So what will you do with today? The monotony and meaninglessness we sometimes feel in our lives are often due to a lack of direction. It's time to set a course, to get focused, and to make the most of every moment. Within these next 24 hours, ask yourself if you can level up even by just a fraction compared to yesterday. Can you become a better version of yourself, grow stronger, and gain more wisdom? Can you get one step closer to sobriety than you were the day before? Can you change your perspective and find new opportunities within these hours? Recognize the incredible power contained in a single day. This day is a unique opportunity, a chance for a fresh start, a chance to forgive, to let go, to move forward and to reach sobriety. It's a moment to see, to become aware of where you stand in all aspects of your life, mentally, spiritually, emotionally, financially, and physically. Take control of your day. Decide that this is your day to read a new book, to start anew, to make an investment, and to invest in yourself. This is your day, your time, and your turn to conquer the day. Remember, you may not be here tomorrow, so rise and seize the opportunity. To conquer the day, we must first heal. It's time to heal from the mistakes of yesterday, from the words we wish we could take back and from the words that were said to us. It's time to heal from the pain and the hurt, from the words that pushed us down but never lifted us up, from the words that keep us stuck in sobriety, from the words that led to our addiction, and from the hurt and pain that keeps us trapped in a cycle of drugs. Today is the day we must choose to heal. After healing, we must acknowledge what went wrong, learn from our mistakes, and set new boundaries. Break the cycle of mediocrity and redundancy. You have purpose, fulfillment, and destiny right at your fingertips. Embrace the truth that only by becoming aware of your current situation can you make meaningful changes. When you recognize your focus and discipline, you can direct your energy and attention toward your goals. A high threshold for pain will be necessary on your journey. You will face disappointment, but you must stay focused, even when it's painful, ostracizing or excommunicating. The pain will subside and you will succeed. To crush the day, you need to plan. Set clear goals, write them down, and get specific about your vision. The power of writing down your goals is tremendous. Your plan becomes your mandate for action. Surround yourself with a circle of accountability that helps you correct your course and offer support. Healing, learning, planning, and taking action are your keys to conquering your day and achieving your goals. Rise, for this is your day to make the most of every moment and to step into a brighter future filled with sobriety. You have the resilience, the grace, the faith, and the courage to stand up and rise. 
embrace the day and conquer it for today is the day for your sobriety. Ladies and gentlemen, on your walk to recovery. I want to ask you a simple question. How much did they first pay you to give up on your dreams? And when were you going to stop and come back to do what makes you truly happy? I see people stuck in jobs they don't love, working the same routine day in and day out with no moments of true happiness. But I want you to know that today marks a rebirth, a chance to rewrite your story. Life has a way of pushing down our dreams, burying them under discouragement. Past mistakes, divorce, low self-esteem, and everyday challenges. It's easy to pick up drugs and alcohol to deal with the despair. It's much harder to take the bull by the horn and thrive. It's easy to settle for mediocrity, even when we know our potential lies dormant within. Each of us has a dream deep down, a calling that we can feel strongly about. But life sometimes hits us with setbacks missed promotions, health issues, failed relationships, and more. Don't let circumstances talk you out of your dreams. You may not understand why things happen, why your business didn't succeed, while you were molested as a child, while your parents didn't love you, why life took an unexpected turn. But these challenges are all part of the process. It's the cost of admission and it's part of your journey. Your dream may be buried, but here's the good news. It's still alive, waiting to be realized. It's never too late to see your dreams come to life. You have to start believing again. Reignite your passion and get your motivation back. Don't let setbacks define your future. The true mark of a champion is in shaking off the dirt thrown on your dreams, not letting it bury them. It's about continuing forward and looking for new opportunities. To reach your highest potential, you must be in it for the long haul. Don't let people talk you out of your dreams. Don't let circumstances discourage you. Don't let delays cause you to give up. And don't let critical people distract you. Stay focused on your goals. For this is your time, your moment, your destiny calling out to you. Dream big and take action to make those dreams a reality. Believe in yourself and your capabilities for self-assurance is a choice. You must choose to believe in your abilities and your potential to achieve the results you desire. Believe that you have what it takes, the inner resources, the talents, and the skills to turn your dreams into reality. Remember, you are capable of making your dreams come true. It's time to act and make it happen. Don't let doubters or haters convince you to be realistic or quit. The only person who can chase your dream is you. It's your dream, your responsibility, and your opportunity to change your life. You have the power to change the world with your dreams but it requires you to get out of your comfort zone, to let the lion within you out of its cage. It requires you to chase your dreams relentlessly. Stop talking about your dreams, start working on them. When life knocks you down, get back up. Be a lion for a lion never stops chasing its prey until it catches it. You should never stop chasing your dreams until you live them. 
Your dream may be closer than you think, but it will only become a reality if you refuse to quit. Be like a lion. Never back down from the challenges you face. And remember that only you can decide when to quit on your dreams. You are more powerful than you realize. Embrace your inner lion. Let it roar and chase your dreams relentlessly. Don't limit yourself. Dream big and don't let small minds convince you that your goals are out of reach. Many have achieved greatness before you, and that's proof that you can too. It's your time to shine, your time to chase your dreams, and your time to make them a reality. You have the right stuff, the abilities, the talents, and the skills to create your desired results. All it takes is your unwavering belief in yourself and your determination to make your dreams a reality. Never settle for less and always aim for the opportunity in the immortals. Dream big and chase your dreams with open eyes to make them possible. It's time to be remembered for your achievements and your dreams. So start today and chase those dreams with everything you've got. Get up when life knocks you down, for in that action, you will find greatness. Get up when you relapse, for in that action, you will find greatness. Get up when you want to use again, when you've been trying to be sober, because it's in that action you will find greatness. Get up when you are triggered, when your partner leaves you, when your mother abandons you, when your child rejects you. For in that action, you will find greatness. And on the other side of greatness, there is sobriety. Don't bunt. Aim out of the ballpark and for the company of the immortals. It's your time to act to believe in yourself and to make your dreams a reality. So dream big and never let small minds convince you that your goals are out of reach. Life is unpredictable, full of surprises, and your dream may be closer than you think. Refuse to quit, unleash your inner lion, and chase your dreams with relentless determination. You are more powerful than you realize, and you can change the world with your dreams. So what are you waiting for? Let the lion within you roar and chase your dreams relentlessly. You've got what it takes. Now go get your sobriety. My friends on the journey to recovery. Imagine a world where you wake up at 3 a.m. It's just you and your thoughts. The world can wait. Emails can wait. Text messages can wait. And everything else can wait. It's your time. A time of self-discovery and renewal. When you wake up, it's not about alcohol or drugs or even caffeine to jumpstart your day. It's about a connection with your purpose, a journey of self-discovery without outside influences or stimuli. You don't need external crutches. You have the power within you. You've been called to do something different, more significant, more unique, and now is your time to answer it. Embrace the early hours when the world is asleep because it offers a different perspective, a chance to crystallize your goals, your dreams, and your purpose in a tranquil, undisturbed space. Within each of us is a force of nature waiting to be tapped into. Life is lived on different levels and these levels are unlocked by taking action. The question is, will you take action? 
Will you do something that breaks your routine, that shakes up your world, that challenges your paradigm? To embrace this transformation, you must be willing to do things that seem impossible to most people. For many, 3 a.m. is an unattainable hour, but for you, it's a time of opportunity, a time to break barriers, a time to be unstoppable, and a time to achieve sobriety. As you start your day, at a time when others are still dreaming, you gain a competitive edge. You have peace and solitude to focus on yourself, to condition yourself, to prepare yourself, and to accomplish more than you thought possible. By the time the world awakens, you've already achieved and you've gained a state of elevation. Waking up early isn't just a habit. It's a lifestyle that gets you in touch with your inner self, in tune with your goals, in motion towards your purpose, and in the flow of productivity. It's a time to shed distractions and rid yourself of what hinders your growth. Embracing 3 a.m. is a journey of transformation, a path to silence, a source of boundless energy, an awakening of your vitality, and the journey to your sobriety. It's about increasing productivity, shifting your identity, managing your challenges and trauma and unleashing the power of unstoppable momentum. I challenge you to try this for just one week. Rise early, embrace the quiet of the early morning and feel the transformation within you. Remember, it's not about the time on the clock, it's about the transformation it sparks within you. I believe in the power of transformation and I believe it will be a tool to assist you on your sobriety. Wishing you all the best. Peace and blessings, Dr. O. My friends in recovery, there comes a moment in life when you find yourself facing a seemingly insurmountable challenge. Instead of giving in to the doubt and fear that whispers it can't be done, you must make a choice. You choose not to back down. You choose to push yourself forward into the unknown. Because here's the truth. At some point, Everything in life is going to go south. You'll look around and you'll think, this is it? This is how it ends? But in that moment, you have a choice. Accept defeat or get to work. I want to remind each and every one of you of the incredible power of your mind. Your thoughts can either lead you into stress misery and frustration or they can guide you to transformation and success it all starts with a decision in your mind a choice to reshape your life and your future this journey won't be easy in fact it'll be quite hard but the hard path is the one that leads to true transformation the crucial part of this journey is to look toward the future and reject self-doubt and negativity. Every time you catch yourself saying you can't do something, putting yourself down, or being negative about your possibilities, you must affirm to yourself that you can make it. You must have the resilience to believe in your potential. Remember this, you are in control of your mind. Don't believe the misconception that your mind controls you. It's time to reprogram your mind. Tell it, no, I can make it. There's a way and this can happen for me. 
We have the power to shape our thoughts, our beliefs, and our actions. There's a reason why everything worthwhile is uphill. It's because the path to success requires hard work, dedication, and a willingness to do what you don't feel like doing. Most of the time, you won't feel like it, but it's your job to make yourself do what others don't want to do. That's how you become everything you're meant to be. So let me ask you this. What if you give everything you have and you come up short? What if you face moments of weakness and doubt along the way? What if you try to get sober and relapse? What if you've been sober for 10 years and relapsed? What then? Many people become discouraged, frustrated, and they surrender. But you, you must remember that only surrender is defeat. Only quitting is the end. You are the captain, the master, the foreman of your own life. Don't give control of your mind to anyone else. Understand that you can always better your best and you can always go beyond what you've done before. To unleash your untapped potential, you need to embrace the power of transformation and practice. It's time to get out of your comfort zone, to choose the hard path of responsibility, hard work and sacrifice. This path leads to freedom, growth, true success and sobriety. You have to make a commitment to yourself. Don't let others want it more for you than you want it for yourself. Don't wait any longer. Every second counts. Start today. Start now. When you hit a wall, keep going. When you face adversity, keep fighting. The storm may be fierce and the world may be against you, but the darkness cannot extinguish your light. Remember, you are the master of your own fate. Your potential is limitless if you're willing to put in the work. So I dare you to use your imagination to dream beyond your wildest expectations. I dare you to start when you're hurting and even continue when you're exhausted. I dare you to stay committed to your dream, no matter how impossible it may seem. You have the power to shape your destiny. Short-term thinking won't get you to where you wanna go. You must think strategically, focusing on what will make you stronger in the long run. Keep your mind on the prize and keep pushing forward. Remember, it's not the game that shapes you, it's the process of the grind, the practice, the effort, and the determination. The journey won't be easy, but when you're faced with the challenges and doubt, you have a choice. You can either back down or push forward. Choose to push forward, keep going, keep attacking, and keep believing in yourself. The path to success is not about comfort. It's about determination and relentless effort. You have the time, the skills, the knowledge, the willpower, and the discipline to succeed. Don't give yourself mental outs. Train your brain with zero options mentality. Get comfortable being uncomfortable and put yourself in positions where your back is against the wall. When you hit a wall, keep going. The world doesn't stand a chance against someone who will not quit. Success is not a destination. It's a journey. You have the power to shape your own destiny. So how much longer will you wait? The time to transform your life is now. The power to control your mind, your actions, and your future is within you. Don't waste it. Embrace it. Start your journey towards recovery now. Dear warriors on your path to recovery, welcome to a journey inspired by the profound wisdom of Oprah Winfrey. 
Today we delve into the power of dreams, the strength to show up, and the commitment to create a life free from the shackles of addiction. As Oprah once wisely said, surround yourself with only people who are going to lift you higher. Life's journey, especially in addiction recovery, demands a transformative shift in personal identity. Today, you find yourself at a crossroads, realizing the imperative need to surround yourself with positivity and in individuals who understand the struggle of addiction. Addiction can make us feel stuck, and sometimes even our closest relationships become part of that struggle. We often feel obligated to stick around with those who may not support our recovery journey. However, every time we allow someone to interfere, we harm both ourselves and our support system. Let's reflect on the dreams of your youth. I want you to know that I understand the challenges you're facing in your journey towards recovery. The path to overcoming addiction is seldom linear and setbacks like relapses can make showing up feel like an uphill battle. It's essential to remember that relapse doesn't erase the progress you've made or the strength you've demonstrated in your commitment to change. Consider a relapse as a detour, not a dead end. It's an opportunity for reflection and learning, a chance to understand the triggers and pitfalls that led to this moment. You are not defined by a momentary lapse. Your identity is rooted in your resilience and determination to reclaim your life. Now let's talk about some mindset shifts that will empower you on this challenging but transformative journey. Mindset shift number one, embrace self-compassion. Instead of dwelling on guilt and shame, show yourself the same compassion you would extend a friend facing difficulties. Understand that recovery is a process and setbacks are part of the human experience. Mindset shift number two, cultivate a growth mindset. Recognize that recovery is a continuous journey of growth and learning. Every experience, including setbacks, presents an opportunity for personal development and increased resilience. Mindset shift number three, focus on the present moment. Instead of letting the past dictate your emotions, focus on the present. Mindfulness can help you make conscious choices and navigate the challenges of recovery one step at a time. Mindset shift number four, reframe challenges as opportunities. View relapses as opportunities for self-discovery and course correction. Identify the patterns and circumstances that contributed to the relapse and use the insight to strengthen your coping mechanisms. Mindset shift number five, cultivate gratitude. Shift your focus from what went wrong to what is right in your life. Gratitude can be a powerful force in promoting a positive mindset, reinforcing the reasons you are committed to recovery. Mindset shift number six, build a supportive community. Reach out to those who understand the complexities of addiction. Surround yourself with a supportive community that encourages your recovery journey and provides understanding in times of difficulty. Mindset shift number seven, celebrate progress, not perfection. Acknowledge and understand the positive strides you've made, no matter how small. Recovery is about progress, not perfection. Each step forward is a testament to your commitment and resilience. Remember, every recovery journey is unique and setbacks are part of the process. Use this moment as an opportunity to renew your commitment, reinforce your support systems and grow stronger. Your ability to bounce back is a testament to your inner strength and the path ahead is filled with possibilities for healing and transformation. You are not alone in this journey and brighter days Away. So let's take a walk down memory lane. Let's reflect on the dreams of your youth where anything was possible. Today, as warriors in recovery, 
dream big and create a life free from the grip of drugs and alcohol. It's time to quit working for the substances and start working for your dreams. Oprah's wisdom teaches us a fundamental rule of success in recovery. Show up. The journey to recovery may seem overwhelming, but the first step is consistently showing up. Regardless of your struggles, financial or emotional, showing up is your strength, your weapon against addiction. Addiction may throw obstacles your way, but remember, showing up is the first step towards overcoming them. Even in moments of despair, when you feel you lack something essential, you can start your recovery journey by helping others. As we conclude this transformative journey towards recovery, remember Oprah's words and commit to surround yourself with only people who are going to lift you higher. So here's our pledge. Write show up in the comments if you're ready to embark on this journey of recovery, resilience, and strength. Peace and blessings to all warriors. This is Dr. O. Greetings, fellow individuals on the journey of addiction recovery. I want to take a moment to remind each and every one of you of the incredible power that resides within you, the power of your mind. You see, our minds are like the control towers of our lives. Everything that happens, every decision we make, it all starts right here within our thoughts. As the saying goes, as a man thinketh in his heart, so is he. This means that whatever we are today is a result of what we've been thinking about all these years. If you're not happy with where you are right now in life, perhaps it's time to ask yourself, what am I thinking about? What do I think about myself? What do I think about others? What do I think about addiction? recovery. Our thoughts have a profound impact on every aspect of our lives, from our relationship with ourselves to our relationship with others, from our sense of direction in life to our successes and failures. But here's the beautiful thing. We have the power to control our thoughts. You see, what you've created in your life so far was not an accident. It's an activation of your conscious wishes, desires, and aspirations. But sometimes interference from our subconscious mind can derail us from our path. That's where the power of mindset comes in. If we understand how to reprogram our subconscious minds, we can eliminate the negative patterns that have been holding us back and replace them with behaviors that aligned with our true desires. It's about aligning our conscious and subconscious minds so that they work together to create the life we truly want. Remember, you are a creator. You were born into a state of abundance and joy, and you have the power to manifest heaven on earth. It's just a matter of tapping into that power and believing in your ability to create the life you desire. But it all starts with your mindset. You have to believe that you can change, that you can overcome your challenges, and that you can create the life of your dream. As Henry Ford once said, whether you think you can or you think you can't, you are right. So from this day forward, make a commitment to yourself to become cautious of your thoughts. When those negative voices start to creep in, remember that you have the power to reset your mindset. You have the power to be a prisoner of your past or your circumstances, but you also have the power to create a new reality for yourself. In the journey of addiction recovery, the power of mindset cannot be overstated. It is the driving force behind every step taken towards healing and reclaiming one's life. Here are seven powerful insights into the transformative power of mindset in addiction recovery in hopes to assist you on your journey to sobriety. Number one, believing in possibility. The first step towards recovery is believing that change is possible for you. No matter how deep the struggle or how many times you have faltered, 
Cultivating a mindset of hope and possibility lays the foundation for transformation. By embracing the belief that a better life awaits you, you can summon the courage to take the necessary steps towards recovery. Mindset shift number two, cultivating resilience. Recovery is not a linear path. It is fraught with challenges and setbacks. However, a resilient mindset allows you to bounce back from adversity with renewed determination. Instead of resilience, instead of viewing your setbacks as failures, try seeing them as opportunities for growth and learning. Through resilience, you can navigate the inevitable ups and downs of recovery with grace and fortitude. Number three, embrace self-compaction. Addiction often stems from a place of pain and trauma, and recovery requires a deep well of self-compassion. By adopting a mindset of kindness and understanding towards yourself, you can release the grip of shame and self-blame. Self-compassion allows for forgiveness and acceptance, paving the way for healing and self-discovery. Number four, fostering mindfulness. Mindfulness is a powerful tool in addiction recovery, allowing you to cultivate awareness of your thoughts, emotions, and cravings without judgment. By adopting a mindset of mindfulness, you can observe their triggers and impulses with curiosity rather than succumbing to them. Mindfulness empowers you to make conscious choices aligned with your values and goals. Number five, harness the power of positive thinking. Positive thinking is a potent force in addiction recovery, reshaping negative thought patterns and beliefs. By cultivating a mindset of positivity, you can reframe challenges as opportunities and envision a future filled with hope and possibility. Positive thinking fuels motivations and resilience, empowering you to persevere in the face of adversity. Number six, seek support and connection. Recovery is not a solitary journey, but a collective effort that thrives on support and connection. By adopting a mindset of openness and vulnerability, you can reach out to help and lean on the support of a network during difficult times. Connection with others who understand and empathize with your struggles provides solace and strength in the path to recovery. And number seven, celebrate progress, not perfection. Finally, it's essential to adopt a mindset of progress over perfection in addiction recovery. Recovery is marked by small victories and incremental steps forward, not by perfection or instant transformation. By celebrating each milestone, no matter how small, you can build momentum and confidence in your ability to overcome adversity and thrive in recovery. In conclusion, the power of mindset in addiction recovery cannot be underestimated. By cultivating beliefs and attitudes that foster hope, resilience, self-compassion, mindfulness, positive thinking, connection, and progress, you can embark on a journey of transformation and healing. With the right mindset, recovery is not only possible, but profoundly empowering and life-affirming. So my dear friends, I urge you to embrace the power of your mind to harness its transformative potential and to step boldly into the irradiant dawn of a new reality. For within you lies the power to transcend your limitations, to rewrite your story of life, and to embark on a journey of self-discovery and empowerment that knows no bounds. Together, let's illuminate the path to recovery. Let us celebrate the triumphs of the human spirit and let us forge a future filled with hope, healing, and boundless possibility. The journey may be long, the road may be arduous, but remember this, within you lies the power to transform your life and reclaim your destiny. With love, solidarity, and unwavering belief in your potential. Peace and blessings, Dr. O.